uh, Wonder Woman, the Wonder Twins, uh, Marvin and Wendy, I think her name was Wendy. Hello and welcome to the stream. Today's pre-stream chatter was me trying to remember the members of the Super Friends uh, who sound gay, but actually there's nothing wrong with being gay. There is a lot wrong with being the Super Friends. So last time we uh, looked at creating a program that computed the Terminator where the sun was rising or setting on a given planet, or actually it could be something other than a planet. Uh, and now today we're going to do something that seems like it's going to be easier, uh, but it won't be. And that is we're going to try to create an API so that people can actually um, get this information from the web. Um, several questions to ask here is um, how to advertise the API to other meta APIs. And I'm not going to do that. I'm just sort of curious as to how one would go about doing that. Um, so the, the way we're going to do this is we, because we need to put this on an actual server now, we can't do this locally on my machine. I mean, we could, it wouldn't be very useful. So to make it useful, we have to put it on a machine, but since it uses CSpice, we have to put it on a machine uh, that is running uh, CSpice, or at least, you know, and has the kernels and all that good stuff. Now it turns out that um, I'm trying to transition from one machine to another, and I think I got rid of CSpice on one of the machines, uh, but it doesn't matter because I need to get it on the other regardless of whether I have um, whether I have uh, gotten it on the original machine. So that sounds pretty cryptic, but let's go ahead and go over here and I will try to now, okay, this is going to be ugly. Um, normally I run screen on the other machine as well. So if I SSH over to that machine, I'll have screen inside of screen. Uh, which is doable. It's actually pretty nice, but unfortunately I'm not set up to do that here. So instead, we're going to create a new window. Do I have an alias for window? I do. Um, oh, and it even has the right colors on it, like unlike this one does. Uh, okay, so it's going to be a window called DigitalOcean, because that's the name of the server. It's Well, it's a DigitalOcean server. Oh, this is shiny, but it's not the right size. Hang on. Um... Okay, so I, I guess I need to see how I do this inside of XInitRec, except I kind of get the feeling that I don't do it inside of XInitRec because I don't have one here. So I need to see exactly how I'm uh, doing this X term. And that this may do it, I don't know. Um, oh, wow. So I might have done this using X term and then... Um, just changing the font size using the control right click. Um, yeah, that's apparently how I did it. Uh, so I do control right, right click on the X term and I chose the huge font size. So let's go and make this a little bit bigger. And so now, and by the way, I've not practiced this. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, which is, which is typical. Um, I'm going to go ahead and SSH into my um, digital ocean machine. Um, a little bit of a good trick because I don't actually know, um, actually I think I do know how to do this. Give me one second here. Okay. Oh, cool. So this alias will actually connect me to that machine with a tiny little problem that I think I've been intelligent enough not to copy. Oh shit, have I? Okay, good. I've not copied my, um, my private keys over to this machine and I'm not going to. So I'm going to have to use the password here, um, which I hope I still have one of. And this, kind of curious as to what that um, reverse uh, DNS is to. Um, I don't think it's anything interesting, to be honest, but let's find out. I think it's Terra Map or Terra. No, it doesn't have a reverse. Um, but I think I have a Terra Map Adventure, which was going to be the big game that we're creating. Um, alias to it in the forward direction, and I do. Okay, good. Um, okay, so now we're just going to do an SSH. Well, hang on. I'm going to go ahead and get the password for this because I don't actually remember it. Um, and I'm sure that it's actually really complicated because um, I'm trying to be more secure about passwords, which is also kind of a pain. Um, let's see. Okay, that's... I don't think... Right. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying 
to find the digital ocean route path. Oh, there it is. That's not too bad, actually. Um, okay, all right, so let's do that. Route at, and we're going to go ahead and use the name, even though we don't have to. I mean, this doesn't make any lick of difference. Now, the only question, okay, so that's fine. I'm hoping that I do have, nope. Um, I may not have root password turned on, which is actually a really good thing. Let's see what's wrong, though. Um... Okay. Well, that didn't really help any. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got it so you can't log in with the password there, which is actually the good, correct, and secure way of doing things. But it's also kind of a pain in the ass when you're trying to do this. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um... Wow, this is all shiny. So my two choices here are to go ahead and em enable um, enable the root password on DigitalOcean, and the other option is to uh, create a private key here and authorize that private key to DigitalOcean. Um, neither of them is a really fantastic choice. Um, yeah. See, I. Oh, password is allowed. Okay, hang on. Um, um, okay. Hmm. Maybe there is a way to force a password. That's the port. There should be a way to, like, say I definitely want to use a password. Uh, but I don't know if the other side is going to accept that. Let's see. Um... Um, well, okay, so they're telling you how to sort of, sort of do this, um, if the pa password is set to the, uh, um, okay, well, let's try that again. Well, actually, let's see. Um, maybe having it go into the background will be okay, but I get the feeling that's not the problem with what's going on here. Let's try it, though. Oh, well, okay. Smarty pants. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think I have password authentication turned on there. Um, now, one thing I could do that might actually be helpful is instead of using my standard uh, public and private key uh, that I would use on my main machine, I could create one just for here and and authorize it as an acceptable key for DigitalOcean. Uh, the only nice benefit about that is that it does show people how to create uh, a key pair. Um, so that might have some benefit to someone. So let's see, the only problem is I want to make sure I don't expose the, um, the keys. Um, so in fact, if I do this, I can't actually show you what my um, well, actually, actually, I might be because it, it's only the public key I need to send over, and it basically says that if you can, you know, if you have the private key that corresponds to this public key, you're in good shape. Um, so actually, I might not even have to expose the public key if I do this. So let's go ahead and have some fun and do an SSH key gen. Uh, we'll put it in the normal file. We won't use a passphrase, and there it is. And now if we look at the SSH, we do have a uh, public and private key. Um, I should be able to show you my public key. I can't show you my private key. I should be able to show you my public key, which is this piece of crap. Um, so if you want to put this on your machine, I can access your machine, but it doesn't help you otherwise. So now I'm going to have to go into DigitalOcean from a trusted site, uh, which is to say the, the other site. and add this trusted key. So, you know, I might even be able to do it from the uh, the web interface, but let me go, this might be easier to do it just this way. Um, okay, now the other problem here is, um, let's 
see. Oh, actually. Let's see. Um, I'm, I'm hoping this is not a. Um, okay, good. This is not a get. This is not a. Turns out I already have a, a copy of this on my on my other machine. So all I need to do really now is to do. Um, Oh wow! Excuse me. Um, so I need to figure out how the hell I have this other thing trusted. Um, so give me a second here. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my um, other machine, and it does. Okay, here we are. Oh yeah, authorized keys. That's the that's the magic. So I'm not going to show you my current authorized key. I mean, it really wouldn't hurt anything if I did, but. Um, I'm not going to. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do with this here? I know you can't see what I'm doing. That's fine. Um, so add to the. I'm basically just going to cut and paste the, you know, this into my authorized keys on my DigitalOcean machine. Um, so that'll take a second here. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay. And if I do this right, I should be able to do all one big chunk. Okay. And if I did that correctly, I should now just be able to do... Um, I should just be able to do this and I should get right in. This, this won't actually work, though. Whoa! Shiny. Oh, crap. Pretend you don't see that IP address right now. Um, that's actually probably not a good thing to be showing you guys, huh? Um, okay, I'll make a note to, to clip that out of the video. Um, so if you are watching the, um, the video on... Um, on YouTube, Pomodoro time, but it's the first one, so I'm going to skip it. Um, let's see. Um, okay. So that was, this is where you got to be a little bit careful when you're doing this kind of crap. All sorts of sh stuff shows up. In fact, if I do a who, okay, good. If I do a who, oh crap, it's still showing up. Damn it. Um, I don't know how dangerous it is that you have my home IP address, but uh, but probably not a great thing that you have that. And again, this is one of the dangers of trying to do too much. I mean, there's nothing really on the digital ocean machine. I say that now. I wonder if that's true. That is dangerous. I don't think. Um, uh, because this is actually what the hell is speed 47? Why do I have speed on my machine? Spectrum Meltdown Checker. Okay. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm kind of worried now. Okay. Well, I have not decided whether or not to elide my um, IP address. Um, I'm pretty sure it changes, but what if it doesn't? Okay. Well, I'll worry about that later. For right now, I'm just going to assume no one's watching, no one cares, and... Um, Etc. Whatever the hell that is. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, that kind of freaked me out a little bit there. Um, so, let's see. Um... Alright, well, hopefully you guys aren't going to attack me. At least until I've had a chance to fix this. Um, okay. Stand by while I have a complete meltdown and decide I can't figure out what to do with this. Um, and the sad thing is if I actually stop the video and restart it, you'll have a copy that does have the IP address. And the only way you could have it right now is if you're watching live. Uh, so that would be kind of weird. Um, okay, in any case, let's just continue and pretend that didn't happen. 
If someone hacks into me and does terrible things, so be it. Okay, so this has a lot of data on this machine here, some of which is apparently not linked correctly anymore, but that's okay. Um, why is the climate... Oh, the climate tiles don't exist anymore, that's why. These, this, this was a link to the climate tiles, uh, which I'm pretty sure don't exist anymore. Um, and the land use tiles, which also don't exist because... Oh, oh well, yeah, that's the symbolic link. And this is taking longer than I thought it would. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. So did I mean to link to there? Okay, hang on. I might have moved climate and land use under tiles. Um, so that, and then this. Uh, we're, we've really not even started on the important part of this, so this would be fun. Okay. So now all we've done is we fix the symbolic links, which is great. Okay, so we do have C-Spice uh, listed here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we do have BC Git here, which is a very old version, which is fine, because I should be able to just say uh, git pull. Or, uh, or I can't do that. Is it git clone? Git clone. Um... Okay, why is why is this being weird? One second. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure this is not going to be up to date unless I've done something. Yeah, this is way back from June fourteenth. Um, there might be a way. Hang on, there might be a, a command that actually synchronizes from my machine uh, to the DigitalOcean machine on the other. But it, I think it's going to be actually called. Um, uh, Yamak Sync is the name of the. Um, no, it's not. Oh, sorry. That would be on the local machine, of course. That would be... Um, if I can, I should probably change the name of this to... Um, here we are. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be Yamak Sync. Uh, let's see. Okay. And I don't know if that home... Bear I mean, it won't, it won't exist here. But where it does exist, I'm not sure if it includes my BC git, which it should. But let me um, let me do a quick check there. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh. Okay, no. Oh, actually, it might be under root. Okay, no. Wow. So how the hell do I get? Um, I guess the other question is, why the hell don't I just clone it? Why the hell do I have it um, r-synced over? Because the latest good version should always be inside of... Um, okay, I need to change the name of this, though. Let's see. Um, there's a real clever way to change the name of the next term uh, that I'm not going to use, because a much easier way is just to get out of this and to actually say um, x term okay stand by um, you can do you can do like x term minus n um, there's more to it than this uh, hang on one second it might be one of my aliases does this correctly Oh yeah, there it is. Um, so this should set this to window digital ocean. Um, there it is. I can now go to a, a huge font. Um, the only thing wrong here is the color's not right, so let me just go ahead and do this again. Um, so I will just say X term. I will, I'll set the geometry later. I don't need to set the color, so the only thing I really need to do is this. Uh, the, the, the title and the minimize title. So here we can go now to a huge font. And here, and I could have in theory also started this with the command that SSH did automatically, but I don't think that's quite necessary. Um, okay, here comes my, here comes my IP address again. Terra Map Adventure. So that was, 
that was my IP address again. Really should be using some sort of VPN. Okay, so all this stuff is here. Um, I don't know why this is like this. Um, um, there might be an alias that actually copies the BC git over to, uh, to uh, DigitalOcean. Whoa. So let's take a look at these. Uh, that's not interesting. That's okay. That's just the regular commit. I don't know what the hell that does. BC info three sync. That syncs to my main machine. BC info four sync uh, syncs to my um, to another machine that I have. Date plus is something totally different. Fay, Fay small. File and that uses okay. Nag start. That restarts Nagios. Um, okay. This is interesting. Um, and none of these seem to do it to the Terra map adventure. Um, so let's do that. And unfortunately, I might be referring to Terra map adventure as, oh, geez. OK. And I might be referring to it by its by its hard IP address, because that's how I roll, man. Um, because I've never really set up this machine properly on... Okay, so let's see what this does. Okay. So Yamak lets me connect there. A Yamak sync will copy over what's in home Barry Carter Yamak root to there, uh, which is fine. Um, but Yamak root does not have a link to BC git, so it doesn't copy BC git over there. So however the hell BC git gets over there um, is kind of a mystery. Um, let's see, there should be, should have some documentation on this, though. Um, let's see. I don't know if the documentation will be here on this machine, or it should be on the other, it should be on my local machine. Having it on my other machine is not that useful. Let's go ahead and go to, it's over here. Um, and I think server, and I think this should have some notes on what I'm doing there. Um... Okay, a VPS that may, well, okay, th you can tell these notes are old because it does host TerraMap Adventure. Um, okay, let's see. I'm trying to do multiple things at once, like beverageify myself and do this. Okay, so this is, um, okay, so this is actually pretty good stuff here. This is, um, Okay, okay. Um, so root BC apps should have what we want. I don't know why the hell BC git is here, but hey. Um, okay, good. So there's nothing called BC apps. Nah, I kind of broke that. Um, so this these notes are really freaking old. Hmm. Okay, let's see what the hell else is in this directory that's probably at this rate not going to be useful. Uh, okay. So, I mean, it looks like I made a real effort here to, um, well, that's, that's, that's the other one, uh, to pull BC apps over. Um, but for some reason, let's see if I, we still have it. Um, no. Oh, I guess I should do find root. But it looks like I changed it to BC git, which is fine. But for some reason, I it's no longer a, um, a git directory. So let's see what happens if we just do this. It should complain because there's stuff already here. Or because that's happening. Um... I'm gonna try get clone, but that shouldn't be any better. Oh, okay. Now, no, 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 no! Don't do that. Is there a BC apps that I've created by mistake? 
Okay, hang on. Um, okay, so what the hell am I doing here? kind of get the feeling that I messed this up somehow. Um, okay. So the problem is if I pull into this thing, it's going to be just a... Well, let's see if I've now managed to... I have not created a git, nor have I created a git in any subdirectory. So let's go back to over here. Uh, there's not a lot of space on this uh, disk here, so um, wow! What the hell was it trying to do here? Um, maybe I just never got around to setting this up well enough. But I mean, BC Git should be freaking BC freaking Git. I should be able to clone into here. Um, God damn it. And I don't even know how the fuck I got here. Okay. I mean, how I got this downloaded here. So I'm kind of annoyed. Let's see if maybe I, there's something here that I'm missing. Um,. Now, one problem with this specific um, git has actual branches in it, because I figured out how to do branching. So it's possible that what I need is actually in another branch. Um, and believe it or not, we're putting our GitHub pages in the branch called Node Server. Um, however, Pretty sh well, shit. How do we switch branches in Git? Um, uh, Git branch. Oh, come on. I don't even know if it's it's the uh, it's the branch command. Uh, oh yeah, Git checkout. So Git branch will list the branches. We're gonna check out the master branch now. And checkout doesn't do anything remotely. It just means that it's going to go to a different set of files here. And I also just realized I did this on a machine that uh, is mounted, so this is kind of ugly. Lots of fun. I'm tempted to hit a control C here, but I'm wondering if that'll just break things horribly. Um, okay, stand by. I'm going to do a control C. I'm going to go do this from the other machine. Um, Because it's it's the mount is better there. Let's see. Uh, git branch. Git checkout master. And e this will take a second on that one too. Oh oh, hang on. Your local changes to the following files would be overwritten. Okay. Stand by. Um. Okay. Let's just um. Holy crap. Um, okay, apparently I added a uh, module called JS SHA 512 uh, to the local version. I guess, guess there's nothing wrong with pushing that, so I'll go ahead and push it. So what we're looking at here is going to be very, very ugly on the other machine because I have to... Oh, come on. Why are you asking for a username? All right. Apparently, because I'm pushing to Heroku, this is probably why I never did this. Because um, I'm pushing to Heroku, I've got to give it a Heroku password. Fortunately, I think I have that. Oh, no, shit. I... Okay. Maybe I have that. I don't know. Um... Um, 
Okay, so it's really unhappy with me. Excuse me. But I think I... Okay, now we're checking out the master. Your branch is behind GitHub master by 10 commits and can be fast forwarded. Before I do that, though, let me go back over here. This is fun. Uh, this is exactly the kind of thing. Let's see if I have a server here. Let's see what this says. Oh, I don't even have a, a real readme server here. Nice. Because uh, those, those are just Emacs droppings. So stand by while I do a git pull on the other machine. Okay, now presumably I got whatever the hell it is I needed from the other machine. Um, let's see what it's going on now. Nope, still no readme server. Um, and we're now on the master branch, the latest version, and we don't have anything... Well, let's see if we have anything useful here. I don't think we do, actually. Because uh, I think the latest version is the node server. But let me go ahead and go back to the, uh, the one branch we haven't gotten to, which is um, the GH pages branch. I'll go ahead and let me pull that one and see if there's anything... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, check out, not pull. Get check out. Okay, now we're in, we're in that branch, magically. Um, that one, I don't think actually had any changes in it, so... Let's see, I'm almost sure this is going to be worse. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be anything good here. Uh, so this is one of the really, really, really old ones. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to the node server branch, which is where I kind of wanted to be. Um... Which I think is where, where where the latest stuff is, to be honest. So that was kind of a waste of time. Uh, more so than everything I do is a waste of time. So now it's going to be checking out Node Server. Alrighty. Oh. I need to apparently push my local commits. Oh, and it doesn't like that because I don't have a password or whatever. Jesus Christ. Christ. So this is actually the first time I've updated this since June 12th of last year. Cool. Okay, so I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure the version I have here is now the latest version um, that I have. So let me... All right, a few things we need to do here now is... Um, okay. Now, because I've got this locally, this is a mount. I'm pretty sure I'm on a mount here. Um, yes, I am. Okay, good. Um, so I should be able to change the readme. Um, so I should be able to update uh, the... Yeah, that's what I want to find. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, this is, this is really old shit then. Um, I only really need part of it. Okay, um, okay. As of 328.20 doing this separately from, uh, BC Git, uh, which... Uh, I'm not sure why I created. So we'll do that. Um, BC apps is symlink to big drive, which is fine. All right, so let's go ahead and make this all happen. So let's go over here. This doesn't really, I mean, it does have enough room, but I don't really want to use it that way. So let's go ahead and make a directory called um, on the, um, the big drive called BC apps. Um, actually, actually, let me go ahead and do a, um, oh, it was Pomodoro time. I guess I'm going to skip it. Next time I will definitely go though. Um, All right, so let me go ahead and pull it over here, see what, what name it gives it, and then I'll move it and relink it. Uh, that, that will make sense. It, is, it, it isn't that big that I can't relink it. So this is the wrong one. This is the one I want. 
And so this should probably be get clone. Um, also changing pull to clone. And so therefore we don't need a git. We don't need, actually we don't need any of this. Um, and this should do what it's supposed to do. And then we can do other stuff with it. And this should not really take this long because this is a fairly fast download on the DigitalOcean machine. They've got some pretty good bandwidth. Um, um, so the bigger problem, the one that we had, I wanted to address today that we're not anywhere near addressing right now, um, is that we don't have enough of spice on this other machine uh, to run the spice code that I've written. Um, but at this point, it looks like we're going to have even a bigger problem just waiting for the damn BC git to come down. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really not happy about this because I'm sure I did this for a reason this way, and I no longer understand what that reason was. Okay. Um, but BC apps is now a symlink to Big Mounted Dirt. The Big Mounted Dirt, by the way, is just something that DigitalOcean just gives you extra space. You have to pay for it, but um, so you don't have to use your root drive for anything, for everything, and in my case, for nothing. So this is fun. Excuse me. Um, Okay, this should be a pretty decent waste of time here. It took us forever to get into the machine, and then it took us forever to figure out why uh, the things were where they were, and now, of course, um, that's what I wanted. How big is the whole thing? 4.8 gigs. So I will go ahead and move it, even though I don't really need to. Um... That didn't really make sense. Probably meant to do a move. That should not take long. And then I can relink it to this directory so we don't have to uh, can pretend that it's local. And for some reason that's taking forever. It's only 4.8 gigs. You can do this. Wow. Something, something, it's not acting the way I want it to act. 3.1 gigs, this should not be taking this long. Hell, over a network, this should be faster. Jesus Christ. Let me see what I'm doing here that's killing the, the server. Well, move is apparently the strongest thing here. Um. The... This is kind of sucking all around here. Some of these the processes probably don't even need to be running. Okay, still moving. Moving, moving, moving. Hello, Milkister Moo! Moo! Hello, thank you for coming. You can uh, entertain me while my system, my server is behaving much slower than it should. Okay, now it has done what I need. So now, to get to the point that's supposed to fail, Oh, now I need to link this back here. Okay, now we can do this. So now, the thing that's supposed to fail... Um, what the hell is it, do I have here? Is this Astro? Oh, okay, so what I can also do here is just because I like to call it BC Git, uh, we can do BC Apps link to BC Git. So I think that's kind of what I wanted to do. Unless it turns out that I actually just f that up. Um, holy crap, let's see where I am. Okay, cool, that worked. So I apparently had another BC git or something, but um, it's gone away. Okay, good. Where the hell was the other one? Don't want to know. Um, 
Oh shit, no, 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 no. Okay. Oy vey. So now I want to link Mount Vine, da da, BC apps to BC Git. So now if I do this, I can do this, this, this. Do a make, it's not going to work. We're going to have all sorts of problems. I don't think BC Terminator is going to make. Um, interesting. Um, and I think I can fix this because this is actually just going to be the, the path name. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can do it this way. Clone user bc get. That worked. Um, bc sudo make. Astro bc sudo make. Um, yep. Okay, so still very broken. Um, so lots of bad things here. One is, I could add the uh, this directory to my path, but this might be actually one case where it's actually better to um, better to change the uh, what's inside of BC Git um, uh, Astro make file uh, because this really should be home user BC Git Astro this. So I'm now gonna have to push it, um, and then I'm gonna have to pull it again. Lots of fun. Okay. And I'm going to have to pull it back over here. This is going to just get worse and worse. Um. So we can do a git pull now. The only thing that's changed is one thing. Okay. So this is the start of some extremely painful failures. The first of which will be why the hell it takes so long to update one file. Um, I mean, this should be fairly quick. DigitalOcean has a pretty decent network unless they, they're pissed at me. Or there's internet congestion because everyone is working from home thanks to this stupid virus. Oh, shit. Um, apparently, whatever the hell I did just try to deploy TerraMap Adventure somewhere as well. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> this has not been going stunningly well. So let me see what the hell's going on here. Um, no, git merge. That should not be the most powerful thing running right now. Uh, I could turn off Docker. I don't think I need to be running Docker right now. Um, I'm kind of curious as to what the hell it is that I'm running inside of Docker. Oh, shit. Wow, that took forever. Okay, so maybe I need to stop Docker, but the question is, am I actually using Docker for something here? Um, so this machine's more messed up than I thought it was. Um, I mean, this is... A hundred tasks, really? I don't even know how many of these are necessary. Um, uh, 
Well, load average is pretty low in theory, but it's a VM, so it doesn't really count. Okay, so now let's go back here and let's see if I can replicate the problem I was trying to replicate. Uh, which is if I do this, nothing's going to work because... So let me, make, let me make some more notes here. Um... um after the first time, must cd to directory and git pull. <sighs> Boy, this is ugly. Um, okay. I still have no idea what the hell I was trying to do with the uh, bc git stuff. Okay. So now, this is fairly new, so I can say this here. Adding symlinks to make cSpice compile and work. So that's probably okay. So the problem here is home user spice spice explorer nested file directory. Um, this is just because I don't have the symlink set up. There is definitely a cSpice.a here somewhere. Um, and I say that, and I, I don't even know if it's true anymore. Mm. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, so the issue here is Spice Spice 64. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So home user Spice. That one, that place we are at. 64. And there is no Spice 64. So if there's a C Spice in here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where is it? the hell? That's not where I want to be. Okay. Okay. That's not very helpful. Okay. So where the hell was I putting this? So it was cSpice, cSpice lib needs to be equal to home user cSpice. Okay, so right up to there. Spice Spice 64 needs to be a link to this. Okay. Um, so that's Spice 64. Okay. So now in theory, this should actually be a valid path. Nope. Um, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. So I wanted to do um okay C spice to oh wait hang on we do have space we do have what the hell are we we do have C spice here so I wonder if I can run screen here okay I even have it set up correctly yay so now, I can at least create the errors the way I need them to be. So I can go over here, create this error, and then go over here and fix it. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so we need this path to exist. Home users, blah, 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 blah. and, okay. So we can do home user spice. And then we have to go to Spice64, which has to have inside of it. Okay, now nah, I think we're getting there. Um, so we want it, but we want to call it Spice64 here. So now, this path should exist. Ta-da! 
Um, so now we should be. This will compile, but it probably won't work. Um, interesting. So now the question is, did I end up, the only thing I'm worried about right now is VC Terminator, which it does not appear to have been created. Okay, so let's do this and we'll look at Terminator. Oh, no. Okay. Terminator. What the hell? Okay, cool. So you can't create stuff in, um, wait. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Home user bin playground. Okay, good. That exists. So do we have a uh, BC terminate here? We do. Let's try to run it. Um, home user BC get astro. That should be in there. That should be in there. BC max kernel. Yeah. Okay. Okay, maybe I need to figure out what the hell home user is. Um, oh. So that's how I was doing that. Okay, so I probably need to fix that as well. Um, bc git to bc git dot old link minus s mount volume bc apps to bc git. Now the only problem is, is this spice the one I think it is? Um, I think I think that's going to work. Okay, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. Okay, and we are almost back. And we are back. Okay, so we might now finally get the an the problem that I was looking for. Okay, so now the error should be there. Okay, so this is where we now need to download a bunch of kernels, which is going to be the really ugly part of all of this. So right now, let's see how far we are in the stream. About 55 minutes into the stream, 
we have now gotten to the problem I expected to get to much earlier. So let's go ahead and go. This is um, all of these are going to be in like very similar directories. Um, unfortunately, at the rate we're going today, these I was hoping that they would be um, fairly quick downloads because DigitalOcean is um, should have fast bandwidth, but the rate we're going today. <laughs> Don't count on it. Let's see where this is. This is oh man, god damn it! The one time I want Google to be searching new tab, search the web for this. It's going to be under NAFE. There we are. Um, so this one's going to be really quick. Um, I guess we're going to Spice. Uh, hang on, CD Home User Spice kernels, which I think is the same place we have all of our kernels. Uh, no. Hang on. Because I know I have uh, other kernels. Um, so let's see. Okay. So let me see if I actually wanted this to be something else. Oh. So are they in kernels? Nope. Um, I do know I have I do have some better kernels than this. Yeah, so that's where I want to keep the kernels. So I need to. Um, I think there's only one thing in kernels, and I can copy it over here. But I think they already have it. Yeah, so I can remove the kernels directory, and then. Instead, link this. So we still won't have it, but we're now at least in the right um, general area. Okay, still fail, but now we are actually going to get Spice kernels that has some kernels in it. Um, and now we can pick up the ones we need. So. This, I was hoping, would be a quick process, but at the rate we're going, it's going to take forever. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So now the fun thing is if you run it again, it's going to give you a different message. It needs L1D134. Okay, that's interesting. Did not expect that one. Um... Okay, let me go ahead and do that one like this too. Although obviously we're not going to be able to do this for all. Well, maybe we will have to do this for all of them. Uh, Lagrange points. Okay, here we go. So I'm pretty sure it's going to need all of these eventually. But let's go ahead and give it the one it wants. Yep, L2. The only reason I don't get them all at once is because, let's see, I think for right now we can minimize this, minimize this, and just flip between, um, yeah, and just flip between DigitalOcean and the browser. I'm going to go crazy and just assume, yep, L3 is going to be, oh, L4 now, okay, so we'll go ahead and give it L4. These aren't even the ugly ones. The ugly ones are going to be... L5. I didn't know there was an L5. Okay. Why Why isn't L3 sh complaining? Why isn't it complaining about L3 yet? Okay. Now I want L3 just because I want L3. Oh, wait. Oh my god, there isn't an L3. Maybe there isn't a third Lagrange point for the Earth. I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to look for this one. This is, these are, again, the very small ones that we don't really care about. Um, okay. And at some point, I might actually end up um, trying to be a little bit more efficient about this. 
Um, these are a whole bunch of asteroids. Dun, dun, dun. Let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I want this. Mm. I want the index of this, but I don't necessarily want these individual functions. So we'll leave. Um, all right. Okay, so now we can do this, close this, do this. Pretty good, huh? Okay. Because I kind of want to now just download the whole freaking site, but it turns out that's going to be too much. Um, and I kind of want the comments in there too, but you know. Okay, so at least the downloads are coming down okay today. Um, here we go. This is the big one. It's the big one, Lucia. Coming to come get me. Um, planets. This is the one that's going to take forever. Well, this one and the next one. So this is the one I was worried about. And this one... Well, that's coming in faster than I thought, but this is good. This is actually something useful that uh, DigitalOcean is doing. Their, uh, their speed of transfer appears to have picked up nicely in the last few seconds. Still going to take about a minute and four seconds, but that's way better than I expected. Uh, and this one and the next one are probably going to be the ones that are really the ones that are going to really kill us. Um, and after that, it should be relatively smooth smooth sailing. Mm, and this is not the best way to get these. The, you know, I, I could, do a, I could l do a list of the ones I have, compare it to the list of ones I need, do a diff, figure out what subdirectories they would be in, blah, 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 and do it efficiently. Um, but again, I don't think that's going to be an issue once we get the second part of this. Um, so this isn't bad. This is actually a pretty decent download speed. Uh, we have about 10 seconds left for me to fill with pointless banter. Banter, banter, banter. Pointless, pointless, pointless. I need to stop doing what I just did. Um, and we are done. OK, let, let me make sure that we have plenty of room left on this, but we should because this is the, uh, this is the extra drive. So now I'm just going to do this just to see get DE part. There it is. And then we can just get it like this. And this, again, will take the you know, similar amount of time. It is pretty big. But it, this is doing a pretty good job of actually downloading big files as on an as-needed basis. Um, and I'm almost sure all the rest of them are going to be in the satellites directory. Uh, and they are pretty big, but they're nowhere near as big as DE431, uh, which is the huge ephemeris, ephemeris that we need. i uh, got about another uh, 70 seconds to kill. Um, so I'll just tell you that uh, uh, I wish I had something to fill this time with. We are ultimately going to try to get this to become um, something that we can write an API for. And we might write some test functions for the API as well. Um, and we might actually merge this with the project for the map where we wanted to get data because an API can get data as well uh, for a map, not just for, you know, something specific. Uh, and for all we know, the Terminator data, if it worked for Earth, which it doesn't very sadly, uh, we could have used that as well. But unfortunately, the Earth has refraction uh, and that's important when computing sunset. And this is the one thing this program doesn't do is compute uh, refraction. We could probably create one that does. OK, so now let's see what we're missing. 432. OK, that's. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'm pretty sure it's in the same directory. Yep. OK, that was pretty quick. And then 435. I don't know what the hell I need. I don't even know if I need all of these. But. Um, I have them on my local machine, so and and on this machine also. Um, 
so it's not a pain to get them. I mean, it's not a huge deal to get them, but I think maybe these are like the very mi minorly updated kernels uh, for Pluto and and so on. Um, I don't really know. Okay, so now what do we need? Oh, Jesus Christ. This one is actually just local... Th this one's actually just stations um, that are actually on Earth. We don't really need them at all. But you know what? We're going to get them. 17 prelim. Okay. Is this 1908-14? Oh, we're getting the old version on purpose. It doesn't really matter, by the way. Because we never <laughs> use them. <laughs> so, and I don't want to change my max. Oh, that wasn't nice. Hang on. Um. Okay. That does not look like a BS. I'll be damned. It is. Oh, right, I'm on the wrong machine. Okay. Um, I'm on my local machine, it could tell me this was a BSP file. But um, not here, so now we want... And I know it's going to be in the same directory, so I might as well just do this. This might be um, overkill. This might... No, he didn't say file. Oh, crap. What I meant was... God damn it. Okay, so the next thing I should do at some point is figure out which one of these things is redundant and I don't need, because I'm clearly... Um, yep. I'm pretty sure Earth stations are going to be here, too, because uh, these are all under stations. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now this is what you get for downloading everything in the NAFE subdirectory to, to get all your kernels, because you get a bunch of crap too. Um, Isom? I think that's actually, an, those are all also Earth stations. Uh, if they're not, I'll learn very quickly, of course. That looked like it failed. Okay. So, Ison, are those comets? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh, they are comets. Um, kind of curious as to what um, the labels are. Are those names of comets? All right, now, now I must know. Because this will only take a fraction of a second to download, and it might be interesting. Um, no, whatever the hell that is, it's uninteresting. Okay, here we go. Now, these are going to be the satellite files. These are going to be the satellites. And that's the one we want right now. These are a little bit on the large side, but not, not huge. Well, okay. I say that, and this one's like a, a gigabyte in size. And fortunately, the time left is going down very quickly. So I think this is going to take about a... M all told, it's going to take about a minute once we get... Once it figures out what it wants to do. Once the time left gets down to a reasonable number, um, I'm hoping this will take about a minute. Um... I'm also kind of hoping that we're getting close... Well, I don't know if we're getting close to the end, because uh, this could be quite... quite ugly. Now, you might ask, could we download more than one of these at a time? And the answer is, of course, we could. But we're pretty much pushing the band... This is pretty fast, actually. And so this we're pretty much pushing the bandwidth limit here. Um, and at some point, I might have to even check to see how much bandwidth uh, DigitalOcean gives me, because I might be pushing the sort of limit of my free bandwidth here. Um, again, as to why I didn't do this before, um, 
you know, I do have this on my other machine, and I guess I should at some point look at removing it from my other machine, unless I already removed it from my other machine on the theory that I put it on this machine and never did, because that is kind of how I roll. Very badly, that is. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, what the? Okay, hang on. Um... See, maybe I did move because I do have more space on that machine, so maybe I got that space by whoa. Um, okay, so I do have some of them on this machine here, but I think I got rid of most of them. Um, so I'm looking, I know you can't see what I'm doing. That's okay, you should not be doing that. You should not be see okay. Actually, I did get rid of most of them, so. This is good. This is actually useful. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be in the same directory, so we can just do... If you want to know if he loves you so, joop, joop for Jupiter, it's in his kiss. Da -da 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 -da. That's not even the right uh, refrain for that. But anyway, so we are now getting through Jupiter's moons. Um, some point we, sh we will need Mars. There we are. Uh, Mars only has two moons, of course, they're very small, um, and this is how we get their positions. So if you've been, if you, so, so far we have not gotten anywhere near touching an API. Uh, we've basically just been downloading crap in the hope that, um, in the hope that we will eventually get enough information uh, to run a program for which we can write an API, although of course we could write APIs for very simple things that people would not even want to, like, you know, just for testing. Um, so we've still got plenty of room here. And now we need... Oh, shit. I'm going to bet you anything that's not going to be where... That's not going to be here. Uh, that is going to be somewhere else. Let me go ahead and try to get it from here, but I don't think it's going to work. Yep. So let's see where the hell that thing is. Some other stations? Okay. Um, VO1. Um, I'm concerned because I kind of want VO2, but you know, whatever. Alright, this should be pretty small. Okay. And now I think we're getting all the freaking versions of these, which is just freaking redundant. And yes, there's other ways to fix it. I could actually, you know, try to fix up the VC Max kernel. Here we go. Now we're back to the satellites. Neptune. Actually, let me see if I can actually um, go back to satellites. And these are the satellites. Of, there are several satellites of Neptune. These are probably the smaller ones, the, the bigger ones. And the smaller ones we will be getting in just a second. Um, okay. And Nepo 86. I think these are the smaller ones. Although they sometimes they refer to the smaller ones as just rocks, so you might see that. But Nepo 86. Now let's see what we need near Nepo 90. Oh, how many freaking satellites does Neptune have anyway? Too many, too many. If you ask me, I think we should uh, petition Congress to reduce the number of satellites that uh, Neptune has. This is a two gigabyte file just for some of Neptune's satellites. So. Uh, I think you can see why that's a bad thing. Okay. Yep, this one's going to take about a... Oh, hang on, did we just miss another IK? I missed another Pomodoro, so I'm going to skip it. Don't know why. Because um, this would have actually been a pretty good opportunity to go and... Tell you what, if the next one t comes up taking nearly as... The next one that comes up that's over a gig in size. I'm going to go ahead and walk and come back. Um, this one, it's not really too late for this one, but every time, I, every second that I keep going, um, it gets later and later and less and less likely that I'll be able to be back in time to start the next download, which of course is the concern of all people. You should always be a slave to your computer and never let your computer waste a second of time. Uh, so every time your computer's finished a task and you're not giving it a task, baby Jesus cries. Um, 
So that that that's why you and if you like watching babies cry, that's cool. But Baby Jesus is kind of like one of those super, you know, religious baby thingies uh, that can fly and stuff. So it's not it's like super baby. He's not it's not cool to make him cry. Other babies, sure. In fact, Jesus can make other babies cry. It's one of the special powers that he has. Uh, Pluto 055. And if this is over a gig, I'll be back. If it's not over a gig, we'll just wait it out. 80.7 is not over a gig. So, we're done there. This one might be after. Saturn 319. One of the Saturn uh, satellite files is pretty big. Nope, tiny. But there's more. There's always more. Um, okay. Nope, tiny. Okay. Rocks. Yeah, this is uh, meaning small satellites, I think. That seems a little bit too quick. Hang on. Uh, it might be uh, seven one sixty eight is a reasonable is a valid file size. Yep, it's there. Okay, so let's see what we need next. Is that three nine three by itself? Good, that's that's what I expected. Okay. Now this one's kind of close to being, you know, this is over a half meg, half gig, but it's not over a gig, and I said I would only leave you people for a gig or more, or when it gets to be the next Pomodoro time in about 15 minutes. Uh, so, but for this one, we're going we're gonna to stick with it. And... Okay. Three, two, one, contact! Oops. Terminator. Daphnis is one of the moons of Saturn, and it apparently has its own BSP file now. And I don't know why I just said less, because I really just want to download the motherfucker. So let's do this. Done. This one might be huge. That did not seem like it went that well. In fact, that looks like it didn't get found. Okay. Um, that could be a problem, because I don't think if that's not there, it's not going to be anywhere. Cause that, is, that is a satellite file. Um, oh, shit. So that might actually be obsolete. Okay, so in this case, I actually am going to go ahead and get rid of it, because I don't, I don't want to be loading obsolete versions. Um, I don't know how it got in there in the first place, but let's go ahead and get rid of it. Um... Oh, we still have a long way to go, don't we? 425. We do not need that one. Okay. So, now let's see what it wants. Okay, mm. that was not what I expected. This is Max Kernel. 34th file, I mean, kinda. I shouldn't have to recompile this because this gets loaded at each time. So, kinda weird. Try that again. <sighs> okay. The only thing I can think of is that the uh, it's it didn't sync correctly. Okay, I'll compile it again if I have to, but that should not be okay. All right, stand by while I go over to the other the other side, meaning my other machine, 
and uh, let's see. Huh. That's that's weird. It's not there. Um Oh yeah, I know it's wrong because we're on the um Yeah, cuz we're on the Digital Ocean machine. It doesn't know that I just changed BC max kernels. So stand by while I push that. And then I'm going to do a Yeah, this should be freaking fun. And I have no idea why the hell this takes forever, even though the fi there we go. That was much better. Okay, so now let's see if we can get uh, 428, assuming that one is still valid. Okay. There we go. Back on track. And then we need slide sliding spring. I'm pretty sure is not a uh, satellite. It's a. Um, I have no idea what the hell it is. But it exists, and we need it. Oh, more comets. Okay. Um. Yeah. I don't even know what a sighting spring is. But hey, we're gonna download it anyway. Okay, now we're back to the satellites. And this one might be pretty big. Not that big, but pretty big. Okay. So this is pretty decent waste of time here. I think that um, you have to be somewhat impressed by how wasty of time this is. Okay, over a gig, so we'll be back in two and two. Okay, and we are back. Glad to see that downloaded. Excuse me. All right, let's see what we need next. Oh, okay, this one is actually, um, this is the low, the low precision kernel for Earth's position, but it's high enough for our purposes. Um, that sucker. And it's tiny. And hmm. I will just get that from the same place we got the BSP file for it. Got it. 
Whoa! Scared the crap out of me. It worked. Okay. So now, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and BC get this just in case I changed anything important. I don't think I did though. Yep, I didn't. Nothing to commit. Um, so now we want to change the format of this because um, to output um, JSON instead of uh, instead of this sort of non-useful format. We could also go with XML or any other format that uh, that produces uh, that that's readable output. That this is not really that great. I'm not even crazy about JSON. Uh, could use XML. Could use something else. Um, and honestly, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if having the C program, yeah, maybe the C program should actually output something, um, not, that's not JSON, and then the Perl script that actually does the API could convert it, but let's see, um, because what I'd really like to see is I'd like to see the uh, the JSON um, how the JSON would look for this, um, and let's see. Okay. Um, so we definitely need to clean up the way this looks. I mean that's that that's kind of a kind of a given. Um, we might want to make it into a, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit, but also sort of, um, sort of keep the, um, we don't necessarily have to go all the way to JSON. Um, now I do think there is a program in here that actually does output JSON. Um, now we need to go back to our local machine. Uh, this guy. Um, I think there is actually one of the C uh, scripts that I wrote that actually does create uh, JSON. And let's see if it's anywhere here. Somewhere in the universe I have something that I think either creates JSON or it might create something, oh, actually maybe it's not JSON. It creates something that's in a format that's more machine readable than what I normally pr give, and I think it's like Sunset Sunrise or something. Uh, sun Moon Star, this might be it actually. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, it's basically, um, it's basically like a bunch of, well, let's see what this actually gives us. Kind of curious now. Um, Okay. And I'm pretty sure that actually just needs to be a copy or a link uh, to the actual one. So it's going to be link minus s earth blah 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 to the... the it, I had to get it from an alternate source at one... Whoa. Oh yeah, I can't do that from here because I'm actually not on this machine. Stand by while I do it on the other machine. <sighs> I tell you, some days. Uh, 0704. Oh, hang on. It's already there. Hmm. Oh, it appears I did manage to create the symbolic link despite the error message saying I couldn't come create the symbolic link. Because that is, that's how I roll, baby. Um, okay. That's a little suspicious. Because there it is. How could you not locate it when it's right there? Oh, is that the wrong one? Home user spice, kernels, earth, 
16. Oh, that is the wrong one. Huh. All right, stand by. Uh, what the hell was I? Okay, over here. 15, 1, 2, 2. Okay. I'll be damned. Um... I don't actually know if I need it, but since it wants it, I, I found it somewhere, and oddly enough, I found it in my copy of what's on the digital um, ocean machine. Um, but I, oh, what the hell? Oh, shit. It looks like it might be a symbolic link on the other place that I found it. Um... Cool. Does this mean I don't have it? I might not actually have this. Alright, give me one second here to see if I still have it. No. Dun dun dun. Uh, again, this was this is not even one of the files. We're not actually running this for any good reason. Um, let's go ahead and find this though. We might as well get it. Uh, locally, if not on DigitalOcean. Hey, 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 hey. You know who wrote this post? Me. I think. Um, okay, so this is... So this we might not actually need. I th I'm pretty sure I wrote this. Let's see who did. Um, who the man? I wrote this. So I was unhappy with this. Okay, so I think in this case, this is another one of those cases where we can, um, star? No, standard. Oh, standard reduced, I think is what I called it. And I guess we will have to get rid of, uh, it's Pomodoro time, but I'm going to go ahead and skip it because I kind of did one ten minutes ago that was kind of pretend like it worked. Um... So we're not going to do this, and let's continue. Um, let's see what the hell am I doing? Um, am I on the wrong one? Okay, so 15, 12, 22 we need to get rid of, basically. Hopefully it won't break anything. All right. Let's try it one more time. It still won't run because uh, I haven't given any uh, parameters, but... Ooh. That's actually pretty good. So we'll say latitude, which is where I am. Well, longitude, Unix time, and you can tell me what the hell is going on. Whoa. That's what I meant to do at all. I meant to do BC. And the whole point of this was to basically show you that... Um, the output here is in a format that's easily machine parsable, though it's not actually JSON, it's just a bunch of AND signs. So that is what I would like to do um, for the, uh, the, the, uh, the Terminator program. So let's see what we can do here. And the one thing we definitely want to do is we want to... Um, we're going to do all the printfs at the end, except maybe for the array stuff, obviously. Um, so before we do any of this, oh, I'll call it metadata, but it means data that doesn't change with each point. And so that we're going to do as printf, um, I, this is just going to be the options that we got passed, percent %d and t equals, um, I, I gave it as a, I gave it as I allowed it as a percent as a uh, floating point, didn't I? It did. Okay. Percent F, and um, so this is the format I, I once used for simple hashes, which is basically key equals value and then ampersands to separate the the different keys in the in the hash. 
So we do this and i equals da, 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 da. and n equals come on n equals percent d and u equals um, percent d. Okay, so th these are the inputs. Let's see if we can do a little bit better here. We can also um, um, okay, so that's what we have so far. Da, da, da. These are just copying from the options. Um, oh, and I guess we're going to be really clever here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so over here we're going to do um, ID time, because that's the float, endpoints, and... Oh. We're going to go ahead and do this as a, um, as a string. So, type. Um, actually, that's shit. Shit, 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 shit. We don't have, there's no point where we actually um, keep track of the U option. Because uh, we basically just immediately convert it. So we'll say this is going to be, this is actually type, not U. Um, so the now, it's, now it's consistent that it's going to be umbral or penumbral. Okay. We don't need to print that anymore. Um, so name, okay, and name equals percent %s, and frame equals percent %s. All of these have to be there, otherwise it doesn't work. Name and frame does not include refraction, printed all metadata, and I think... Um, and then here, I think we just need to say printf. Um, yeah. We can say lat 1, or lat 0, lat blah, 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 equals percent %f. And uh, ln, I decided, I, I always do let longitude first. And lat percent %d equals percent %f. Um, now the problem is I should have it like a, an and separating all of this shit, but I think I'm okay with not doing. I think I over, even over here I didn't really do. Oh, I did shit. Um, so I guess I'll just put an and at the end of each one, and then we'll. So even this would then have an and at the end of it because we're still continuing with the hash. Um, now obviously this is a very ugly way of defining arrays by giving each index a value. Um, and so this is going to be i, and the longitude times the converted to degrees, i again, and then the latitude converted to degrees. Um, and I think having a hanging and is not going to kill me. So we'll let it go. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and remake this on I'll need to re I'll need to re-push it and repull it, but you know. Uh let's see. BC get astro make. So now let's see if we're getting it in the format that we want. Yeah, and I think I'm going to probably put a, a new line there. Um, okay. Okay, so this is the um, list of longitudes and latitudes. The only thing we don't really have here that would be kind of nice uh, would be an indication of which, a point that's on the inside and a point that's on the outside. In other words, a point where the sun is shining and a point where the uh, sun is not shining. Um, but for right now, let's see what this does. Okay, so 
name is Mars, frame is IAU Mars, the T is equal to, what the hell? Okay, we've got to be careful here because I want the Unix time for T. Okay, so that's another mistake I need to fix. So what is T up here? Let's see. So Oh, I see. I, I already converted to, um, to ET from there, so when I print it out, I should probably convert it back. What's interesting is it won't be the exact same value because there's some leap second adjustments going on here. So this will be ET to Unix of time. Okay make and run Oops. so t equals let's just do aha, right now let's see if that is right now yep it's pretty close right now okay so this says the world's 10 point um uh llama no mars's 10 point terminator looks like this uh, penumbral name equals Mars, frame equals IAU Mars. Okay. Good stuff. So at this point, um, so this is the point where we now need to talk about making an API for all this stuff. Um, I mean, we do need to push this to Git, which I'll go ahead and do right now. And then we need to start talking about an API. Now, let's see. All right, I've been going for about an hour and 45 minutes. I want to give it a little bit more time, um, maybe another 15 minutes or so. But what we're going to look at here is something we've actually already sort of created. Um, actually, it's not under server, but it is, uh, it is a Perl script. Um, I don't remember exactly where it is, but it's like somewhere in here. Um, the general idea is that we write, we give a special prefix to everything that can be called by the, uh, by the API. Uh, so in this case, it's command underscore. This would be if you called called command info tile this is what would happen if you called command info tiles uh, which is different command create that would be this and everything else becomes uh, argument to the uh, to the command so um, so we can probably get started on this with I hesitate to do this um, API yep I didn't think I had one of those read me Okay, good deal. Um, this is an API running on DigitalOcean equals TerraMap Adventure, uh, which I'm not sure I'm going to keep that as a domain. I probably will. Um, that allows people to, that allows, yeah, people, whatever, um, to request uh, functions data from my server. Uh, general usage will be API endpoint, um, you know, da 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 da. Let's give it a name. Uh, API dot Barry Carter dot info colon port. Do I want to run this with HTTP? I mean, there's a lot of ways of doing this. Um, Web sockets. I will probably go ahead and use HTTP, potentially HTTPS port. And then, uh, let's see. F equals function. And A equals arg. And B equals arg. And C equals arg. Okay. Um, so the idea is this will be listening on, you know, whatever port it's supposed to listen on. And then when it gets, gets incoming crap, 
it responds correctly. It does whatever it needs to do. Um, and there's going to be a lot of stuff here. We need a help function, a help per um, callable function, um, e.g. help f1. So not just help in general, but also help for each individual function. The, the big help is going to obviously give us, you know, add source code links, um, disclaimers maybe, I'm not sure we want disclaimers in there. We have to say here's how we, here's how we run this to get this uh, email address for questions, uh, etc. You gotta love etc. Okay. Okay. Um, so I've actually done quite a bit of this here in the, um, I think we can minimize DigitalOcean. We probably will need to connect to it again at some point, but for right now we can run some tests here locally, um, carefully, before we go to uh, putting the stuff on dig DigitalOcean. So let's take a quick look at how I did some of this crap. Game commands might be it. Um, this is, uh, let's see, okay, okay, that's actually just a, uh, um, I wonder if README actually tells me how to do this, oh wow, um, and right now this doesn't work, this is heroic putting this on Heroku, I'm pretty sure not working right now. Um, I'm also pretty sure the server isn't doing what the server is supposed to do. Uh, let's see. But there is some place where I do actually try to get a... Um, oh, here it is. Game Engine WebSocket Secure. Um, so this actually... Um, this actually would run... I think I actually think it does run on DigitalOcean... Uh, right now. Um, doesn't do anything, but I think it runs and listens on the port. Um, and this is a little bit more complicated because it requires a login. Um, holy crap. I'm kind of curious to see if this actually does run. It might. And it might be running right now, which would be even weirder. Um, but is this... Th oh, this is the WebSocket version. So, actually... Yeah. This might not be the one we want. Um, so... Um... There's a lot of ways to do this. Uh, WebSocket is one way, which is apparently the way I went with here. WebSockets are limited to how much they can send. Uh, there's HTTP or HTTPS, which is a very common protocol for the web. Uh, and the nice thing there is that JavaScript, the client-side JavaScript, understands it pretty well. Um, I don't know if I did anything else here, or if there's anything else here is actually available. C to S, client to socket. Um, Functions are quite good. Wow. Okay, and that was part of my really clever idea that to break up to do other weird things, but but that's um, that's not interesting either. Let's see what what the hell we have here. We have shells. We have JavaScript. We have and this, by the way, was a project done with other people, which is why you see other people's names in here. Uh, they're wonderful people. Create master map, map client. So I think this might have been where some of the crap happened. No idea, though. Um, map tiles? I don't think we have any. I'm wrong, we do. I'm kind of curious now as to what they are. Oh yeah. 
this was the I think this was for solar oh this is for land use uh, the tiles of high lower resolution there okay um, yeah this appears to be a freaking mess but I think we can actually we can glean something out of this um, and there's a real clever way to do this so that uh, you you can handle more than one request at once. I think if you use XINETD or something, you are limited to, to handling one request at once, but I could be wrong about that. I think the way I have it done here, um, every time you get a new request, you can fork off a process to handle it, so you can be handling multiple requests at the same time. And I say that, and I'm not really sure if that's true, but let's see. Um, Broadcast all connected. Process message. I think setup WebSocket might have this. Um, somewhere in here there should be a fork. Yeah. Um, okay, that might not be the right thing to do there. Um, all right, let's take a quick look here. There is a way to do this so that you can fork off. Yep, this is the only one that's doing it, though. And it's possible that it's on another branch, also the, the thing that I want to do correctly. Um, listen on a port, and when you get a connection on a port, call the process to handle it. Um, uh, an, an alternate process to handle it, or maybe the same process, but do something like this... Um, this fork thing except in our case we would have to do it after we got the connection because uh, we're listening on one port but that should not make sense um, oh that backgrounds the whole thing so now when we set up a web socket um, da, 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 da. Um, wow, that's, I'm not exactly sure what the hell this does, but we'll figure it out. Okay, it is Pomodoro time, but it is also time to say uh, goodbye for now. One hour, 52 minutes, not too bad, eh? Okay, thank you for watching the stream, and um, talk to you later.